to help narrow your list down, you can use this selection checklist adapted from the Department of Trade and Industry, Bureau of Small and Medium Enterprise Development. To use this, you must first list your business ideas in column 1 and start working your way through the rest of the columns one business idea at a time. In column 2, determine the level of your knowledge about the business idea. Write 0 if you have no knowledge of the business, 1 if you have some indirect knowledge of the business, 2 if you have limited knowledge, and 3 if you have a working knowledge of the business. In column 3, Assess the level of your experience related to the business idea. Write 0 if you have no relevant experience at all, 1 if you have some indirect experience, 2 if you have limited experience, and 3 if you are confidently familiar with the business. Column 4 is for the level of your skills that will be necessary to the business. It will also determine how much time you will need to learn those skills. Indicate 0 if you have none, 1 if you have limited skills, 2 if you have some skills, and 3 if you have an extensive set of skills relevant to the business. Column 5 is intended to determine how easy it will be for you to sell your product or service in terms of your competitors. Write 0 if you think the business falls in a crowded field and therefore very difficult to enter. 1 if there is limited entry available in the field. 2 if there is a moderate ease of entry due to a mix of large and small competitors. And 3 if there is unrestricted entry for any business size. Column 6 is for the uniqueness of your business idea. This pertains to how different your product or service, business approach, or customer service is compared to the other existing businesses in the field. Indicate 0 if the product or service is widely available. 1 if there are few to several other businesses offering the same product or service. 2 if about one or two other businesses offer the same product or service. And 3 if no other business is providing your product or service. In column 7, rate how much available resources relevant to the business idea do you have. Write 0 if you have no available resources. 1 if there are few resources available to you. 2 if you have a moderate amount of resources you can access and 3 if you have enough available resources. In column 8, determine how rich of a network you have concerning the business idea. Write 0 if you have not established any network. 1 if you have few contacts relevant to the business. 2 if you have a limited network and 3 if you have a well-established network. Once you have filled out all the other columns, you can now sum up the scores and write them in column 9. To narrow down your business idea list, Remove those that got total scores lower than 10 points. Next, take down those that did not score at least 2 in every category. Lastly, 
exclude the ideas that did not score a 3 in the uniqueness category. And that is how you can narrow down your business idea list. Now all you have to do is to determine which of the remaining business ideas is the best one for you.